Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I mean over the top beautiful. It is a gorgeous sunny spring day in the hellhole of Bethlehem. I never thought I would make it to the birthplace of Jesus. Maybe that's some other Bethlehem. No, we are in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania today. Uh, at the one of the great, the great monuments to the collapse of global industrial civilization at the Bethlehem Steel Plant. Good Lord, I've been hearing about the Bethlehem Steel Plant for my whole life never made it here and so uh, we are literally chronicling the collapse of global industrial civilization so uh, I guess I should have done some more research so about all I know about this monument of planet eating is I'm pretty sure, well, there's a little guided tour I guess I could be taking, is that it was first opened in 1857 and right before the Civil War and apparently never shut off its burners. Uh, it's unclear, it's either 1998 or 2003, so, uh, for close to 150 years, uh, this monument to uh, stupidity and the ingenuity, the beginnings, done, 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 done. 150 years of industrial insanity. Jesus Christ, but you know, <laughs> uh, I mean, you've got to be, on one level, you really have to be impressed uh, about humans. Uh, you know, that before the Civil War is when they cranked this goddamn thing up. And, uh, so I guess I'm assuming their first order of the day was, you know, to help Sherman burn down the uh, state of Georgia uh, and apparently uh, the whole lot of these giant battleships and probably nuclear submarines and good God almighty this was down the you know the military industrial complex one of the major uh, one of the major monuments to the military industrial complex and I uh, don't even need to think about the unbelievable environmental ecological assault on this planet. So I guess the Golden Gate Bridge was built here. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge and God, I'm uh, moving materials. Uh, good Lord, I guess they were just sucking all the water out of the river. Blast furnaces, the ore yards, the trolley cars. Moving this shit around and then all of this other just, just, ugh. Like Eastern European industrial wasteland. Uh, but I guess the whole show collapsed and shut down right at the end of the 20th century. Uh, and I'm just trying to figure out where all of this went. I guess it went to Japan. And, but I'm not even sure, I don't think it lasted in Japan long. 
blast furnace. Yes, look around you. These five blast furnaces were the heart of the plant for many decades. Yep. They ran continuously night and day seven days a week and required a constant feeding of materials. To make one ton of pig iron, the furnaces required one ton of cokes, two tons of iron ore, one half ton of limestone, and about four tons of heated pressurized air. Uh, okay, God almighty. Uh, look at this shit, and it is all going to rust. This breaks my little doomer heart to see all of this going back where it come came from. You can I don't know if you can see the trees sprouting out up in the very top uh, as trees are starting to recolonize. Good God Almighty. These blast furnaces were 3,000 degrees. I wonder how many clueless morons fell into the blast furnaces. You know, imagine coming in here pretty much for your whole life. That this was your life every day dragging in here. Alright, we have a we have a native plant garden. <laughs> I love it. Uh, a, this is the supreme irony, a, a native plant garden here in the Bethlehem Iron Works. That is really hilarious. Uh, so we're getting a native plant garden to start taking over. I guess there's, they're planning for some big, they're gonna have some uh, free music event. So I guess this is uh, a little uh, entertainment venue. I've heard, I don't know where, that, that it's also they built a casino around here. Uh, <laughs> Native gardens maintained by volunteers and members of Bethlehem Backyards for Wildlife and Penn State Master Gardeners. There you go. Hot, loud, and dangerous. Loud and dangerous, but it's good to see the native, the native plants reclaiming look at this tree I don't know uh, I don't know if this is a native tree or not it's hard to tell it's about I'm on the third story looking down somehow some uh, somehow some seed made its way down here and I don't know how the original seedling got the where it got the sun you can see nature nature starting the long road back the long reclamation road it is very good to see mother nature reclaiming Check out the, the generator. 
Ah. Good lord. <laughs> this is the the generator. Good God Almighty. I would like to see that thing up and running. Assuming uh, what came first, the generator or the steel plant. Uh, I can't believe this damn thing was humming along from one end of the 20th century to the next. Uh, you can't see this tree growing. Let me see if I can. You see that little uh, that spot of green there. I mean, that's a pretty good sized tree. You can't tell it from here. Uh, somehow, somehow that seed made it in there. I guess the uh, vegetation returning will have plenty of iron. You will not have to uh, fertilize. God almighty, just. Bethlehem built. Steel from this plant built, bridged, and powered America. Yes, it did. The Golden Gate Bridge in the USS Missouri. Right, the Chrysler Building. Ah, fuck. Excuse my, excuse my language. <laughs> Mother Nature springing out of slag heaps. Little by little, she shall endure. And all of this from rust to rust. I see some sort of little bird taking some nesting material. <laughs> Fine place to be a little bird. Lord. All right. We have some more. We have some more vegetation. This is uh like maybe right outside what used to be an elevator. You see the signs of hope. Uh, hope. There we go. We have reached the end of the line. A legacy of planet eating. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Fine man, fine man who built America. And here is their uh, their rusty epitaph. Guess it all goodbye, but here comes another tree growing up through the ruins. Yep. All right, we have reached the end of the line of Bethlehem steel. Good God. <laughs> 
goodbye and good riddance to Bethlehem Steel. Oh, man. Humans. <laughs> what are you going to do with us? Bye, guys.